guys, so today I'm going to be showing you a couple outfit ideas, like kind of summer outfit ideas and transform them into fall. I personally had a hard time trying to transform my summer clothes into fall clothes, but I found a way and I hope you guys do too. This is just some inspiration, some ways that you could jazz up a red plain skirt or how you could jazz up some shorts and make them fall appropriate. And yeah, see you later. So I am just walking down the stairs and voila, I'm already there. <laughs> no, I edited it, but what do you call it? So yeah, and then I just go to my coffee maker and I plug that in and I just like open the cap and take out those little things and then I put some coffee in it and then I fill it up with water. And yes, I have a Ninja Turtle cup and I accidentally spilled the water and I said like accidentally and accidentally, okay. And then yeah, I just wait for my coffee to get ready and while that's getting ready, I just watch some TV and I'm watching Halloween movie and yeah. I get up and turn on the light and I'm so happy because I got some coffee ready and yeah and then I just pour it in there and um, I get my creamer which is awesome and I actually put some milk and some sugar in it too and this creamer is just the delight pumpkin spice and honestly it's so good And then there is your pumpkin spice at home. These are the colors I'm going to be using. I'm not going to use the purple one, but the blue and the maroonish color I am. And I'm just going to take off the nail polish that I had on before. And then I'm going to paint my nails. And yeah. Then I take this endless blue and I do a little stripe on the um, ring nails, I guess you could say. And it just adds a little bit of summer to the fall. And then here are the outfits. This is your everyday floral dress and mine is from Forever 21 and it is more of a darker tone so it's really good for wearing it for fall and for the makeup it's just some mascara and lip balm and the hair is just up and then my sandals. To make the floral dress fall appropriate, you just want to take a sweater that matches it and you just want to roll up the sleeves. And the sweater is also from Forever 21 and I let my hair down from its bun. Then take any reddish tone lipstick that you have and that is the complete look. I decided to pair it up with the same color of the sweater, Oxfords, and yeah, I don't know where I got it from, but they're cute. One of the most used pieces of clothing were shorts for me, and mine are from Charlotte Russe, and they're just purple, and then my crop shirt is from Wet Seal, and it is just a U-neck. And then I just kept my hair down, and for makeup, I kept on mascara and some Victoria's Secret lip gloss. For shoes, I just have some white flats. Now, to make it fall appropriate, I just added a V-neck, and I tucked it into the shorts. And I rolled up the sleeves a little bit because they were too long, and then I put my hair in a braid, and I put my bangs back so it's not all up in my face. And instead of using lip gloss, use a little glossy kind of red tone thing and then I just paired it with the same shoes. When I had the chances in summer to dress up I always chose a skirt. So this shirt is just from Love Culture and it says bonjour and then my skirt is from Forever 21 and my hair is just half up half down and it's kind of Ariana Grande inspired and for makeup I just kept it simple with lip balm and some mascara. If you don't want to change a whole look, just take out the little ponytail 
of the half up half down and just add a beanie and it makes it more fall appropriate or you could just add a scarf and it looks really cute too. If you don't want to spice up the look with a scarf or a beanie, just pair it up with a different type of shirt. I went for a darker color and I just put a bandeau under it. And this shirt, I do not know where it's from. And I'm showing you the bandeau and I tied it and yeah, it's really cute and it adds a lot of spunk. Makeup, I just added a lot of red lipstick and I still had mascara. I think mascara is like my favorite. And yeah, that's the look. And for shoes, I just paired it with my One Star Converse. This will have to be my favorite outfit recreation because it's a lazy and who doesn't love being lazy? So my shirt is very summer and it is from Forever 21 and then my leggings are just from pink and they're actually yoga leggings. Yeah, and then I just put my hair up in a bun and the bun is imperfect and I put in a lot of boggy pins as you can see here and it did not help but oh well and that's the look. And for shoes, I just paired it up with some old sandals. Now, this outfit I have worn several times before, but it's so comfy. Anyways, this shirt is from Cotton On, and I got it in the men's section. Yes, you heard right. And um, I just paired it with the same leggings, and yeah. And for shoes, I just wore some spiked flats. I really love this outfit. It's just so warm and cozy and it's just so much fun to play in, I guess. And I just wore some lip balm just to keep it simple and then I put my hair up back in a bun. And for the hair, I just kind of scrunched it and I made it look less put together. And this is my cat named Suki and she meowed because I was moving her a lot. And you gotta love the face that I make at the end. Okay, well that is it for this video. And it was voiceover and I'm so sorry. I hope you do not mind that. But the next like couple videos might be voiceovers because they're gonna be tutorials and it's just way easier to do it as a voiceover. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was really fun making it and do not forget to get that pumpkin pie spice thing creamer. It's so good. I'm gonna go clean up and a huge mess. Hold up, you see all that. Have an amazing day and I'll see you all later in my next video. Okay, bye.